Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Garden here back with another modded plate up tutorial. And today's episode, which is a continuation of some of the other ones recently released, is this is going to be cheesecake automation. And you may say, well, can't you make this any more compact? The answer is no. <laughs> um, like the other cake videos, they all have steps. So let's just run through it real quick and then we'll fire it up. So basically, you have to crack an egg crack an egg and then you combine that with sugar on here and then you have to mix that and then you combine that with cream cheese and then that gets filtered down into this that makes your filling and then that will go over to here again you could have um another conveyor belt here it's irrelevant this is just a counter because it you, know, you could have a prep station if you want this will go to here and then this will just sit here this is to make the filling now to make the graham cracker crust you take graham cracker you chop that up and you set that to go on to the heated mixer. And you need to heat a mixer. Why? Because you need to take butter, portion the butter, and then you need to heat the butter or melt the butter. Combine that with the crust, which is using the mixer action. And then you have a small grabber here. You need to have a small grabber here. Otherwise, as soon as the butter hits it, it'll pull it through. Small grabber with the graham cracker crust going onto the combiner. And that will combine onto the filling and then from the filling it goes to the mixture because you have to then use a mixing action which is i guess would be considered the cutting action and then you portion it so cakes are weird all four types of cakes so you basically you have to cut them and then you portion them which is kind of doesn't make any sense because when you're portioning a cake you are cutting it but it's just the way it works it's kind of like how sushi is so you cannot and you have to combine things in a certain way you have to do the eggs first then the sugar then the cream cheese then the butter crust, you can't just combine everything together. It just it just won't work. So let's just fire it up. And as, you're, as if you're making a real cake, you can't just throw the flour. Well, this has no flour. You can't just throw all the ingredients together. So as you see, what's happening here is the, is the eggs being cracked. That then is being mixed or combined with the sugar and being mixed again. You can't do it on one because it just, it just doesn't work because you have to mix things twice. Um, you may be able to get away with it by using a smart grabber but then you still have to combine the cream cheese after this action is finished that makes the filling down here the graham cracker crust is being made which you can see now the way cheesecake work is actually it's just the filling and the graham cracker crust compared to the other cakes which have two layers which are involved <laughs> in themselves and then you have to take it to the mixer which does the cutting action as you're going to see in a second here let's just pull some of these away so it'll actually filter through it'll go and then it has to actually be chopped and then it's portioned Cheesecake gives five portions, so it's one plus a prep station. The other cakes give six. Not that it matters, because this is, even though it's a little bit more involved with the graham cracker crust, it actually is fewer steps, because you don't have to have two different layers along with the filling. Um, basically, the filling goes on top of the graham cracker. This is exactly how normal cheesecake is made. Um, like, you know, you're not making a layer cake. Cheesecake is one layer, but there you go. It's pretty compact. I mean, we're talking one, two three four we have seven by five i mean it's pretty compact again these things that are down here this is optional of course but you need to have a mixer if you want to have it you know full auto and you want to have a prep you, know, you want to have your portioner again this is full auto right this is the whole purpose of these videos is to have a full automation which this is full automation let me get out of this real quick and i leave the and by the way i do leave the uh, color blind assist on just so you can see the different stages so yeah, basically egg chopped going to this, which is combining with the sugar, chopping again, combining with this, and then passing through, or combining again, I guess you would call it, combining again, passing through, going over to the safety hob, and then you have your butter, which you have to portion butter after you take it out, so you can't portion directly from the butter refrigerator, which is why you have this conveyor belt here. Um, again, it could be, a, doesn't matter what type of belt it is, but it has to go onto something, and you can portion from a belt, so you don't need to have a counter here. Um, and then that'll portion the butter. The heated mixer will cook it or will melt it, basically. The graham cracker is being chopped itself. And that's because that's why you can't use the same one. You can't have everything going onto a hob like this or a, a, a heated mixer because the graham cracker will get pushed on first and then the butter will never cook. So you need to have this, this heating action and then it'll combine, then it'll. Um, cook into the or make into the crust that'll go filter through into here so it's, it's a pretty involved automation i mean it, this took me i didn't have the recipe mind you so it took me about 30 40 minutes to figure this out because i didn't have the recipe in front of me uh because i do these kind of you know modded just on the fly i don't look at i don't play a run to get the cards but nonetheless this is automated cheesecake hopefully you guys enjoy it took me a long time to make 
So hopefully you guys get some value out of this. But yeah, this is part of the new, part of one of the mod packs that are out there on Steam right now. The author of this is going to be, what is their name? Their name is um, Restinix, Rest, Restom Ox, Restom Ox Workshop. It's called Cake for Dinner. That is what the mod is called. And it has four different types of cakes, which the other three will be also on this channel um, at some point. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. We'd much appreciate it. Do you like cheesecake? I'm not a huge fan, honestly. Chocolate cheesecake? Yeah, I'll eat that a bit. Otherwise, I'm not a, not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. All right, guys. Hit that subscribe button. It really help me out. And I'll catch you guys in the next automation tutorial. Take care now.